When it comes to getting a job, people can be qualified, but can they pass a drug test? First News anchor Dave Sess recently talked with several people, including owners of two companies, about drug tests and jobs. Some employers are finding it tough to find people who can pass drug tests. I explored that topic earlier tonight in First News. You can see my story at WKBN.com. Right now, details on the big effort to help companies find drug-free workers. Lensic Masonry is helping build a new Boardman fire station. Its bricklayers have a tough job in what can be a dangerous profession. That's the first step in having a safe job is making sure that the employees uh, aren't doing drugs and they come to work with a clear mind. Having a drug-free policy is mandated for any company that does state or federally funded work. Mahoning and Trumbull counties got grants from the Ohio Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services a year ago for a drug-free workforce community initiative. Star Manufacturing in Vienna is one of the six employers which has modified its drug-free workplace policy and let workers know. They'll have the advantage of no questions whatsoever about what the consequences are of being testing positive. The drug-free policy spells out the entire procedure and repercussions very clearly in detail. Star Manufacturing also took one step on its own. It puts a brochure in each letter informing an applicant that they didn't pass a drug test. It's well aware some people cross their fingers hoping for a miracle. So that other end of the rainbow just is maybe here's some positive information for you. Not so much you just failed and we don't care. We care. Here's some education to help you. The education is also extending to the companies which are implementing new policies, updating ones which have been written years ago or realizing there's a drug problem, but they're not sure what to do next. So it's about providing information so they can make a decision. So not only is it a problem of hiring employees who are drug free and can pass that drug test, but it's making sure that the employees on the job are also drug free and can pass those tests. The drug problem is a nationwide issue, but right now companies across the valley are wasting energies to find new workers and those testing positive for drugs are pushing them back. Trying to identify and address some of these concerns is what's really important, with the regional chamber getting help from the mental health and recovery boards to emphasize drug-free policies and workplaces. To kind of set the precedent that if you want to work you must stay clean uh, and we're willing to hire you, uh, but, but you've got to stay clean. And the next step will be when medical marijuana becomes legal in Ohio. According to the Ohio Bar Association, employers can prohibit medical marijuana in the workplace. They don't have to accommodate an employee who uses it. It remains an illegal drug under the Controlled Substances Act. It's legal to fire an employee for using medical marijuana, and if they're fired, they are not entitled to unemployment benefits. Dave Sess, WKBN 27 First News.